tucked away in the forest of the Paws Up Resort, a small restaurant's chef is nominated for a big award. I peaked when I was about 13 or 14 when I won the pineapple uh, upside down cake competition in the county fair. What Brandon Cunningham didn't know back then was that was actually his fall summit. His true mountaintop moment is happening now since he's made the shortlist for the James Beard Best Chef Award. About 240 total across the country who were recognized on the long list. Even the long list can change your career. So the long list to me was like, that's, that's all I need. But then waking up in the morning and, and seeing my name on the short list was, I think it still feels a little surreal, honestly. Cunningham is one of five chefs remaining in the contest for the mountain region, fulfilling a dream he's had for years. The James Beard Award has been definitely coveted as far as I'm concerned as a personal goal for as long as I could, you know, really remember. With creative freedom in the kitchen at the Greeno Social House, he takes childhood classics and elevates them to masterpiece status. One of my favorites is a Big Mac. We'll make these cute little uh, Big Mac buns and they get two slices of Wagyu and they build their own Big Mac. I think that's probably the crowd favorite. And people feeling connected while they're dining. It's playful, it's fun. Is a crucial part of the social house experience. Starting with, you know, three different couples and then all of a sudden you've got a six stop and they're eating you know at the bar which happens a lot where they'll they'll come in as couples and then they're eating at the bar every night with their other friends that they found. Next Cunningham will travel to Chicago with 60 other chefs in June to find out who will take home the trophy. Visit the Greeno online if you'd like more information on the social house. In Greeno, Emily Brown, MTN News.